Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on group difference or sameness. Kindergarten students need to realize that the characteristics of two or more groups might be the same or different. They need to be able to recognize this sameness or difference when it is put before them. Here's a very basic example. Group 1 has four apples. Group 2 has four apples. This is the question that can be asked. How are the two groups the same? So you have a discussion with students and see what they come up with. Hopefully in the end they'll come up with they both contain fruit, they both contain the same kind of fruit, and they both contain the same number of fruit. So they're very three, they're very important, three things that are the same. Then you can ask the question, how are the two groups different? So as you look at the two groups, is there anything different between them? Won't take them long to realise there is no difference between the two groups. Second example, group 1 has four pairs, group 2 has three pairs. You can ask the question, how are the two groups the same? They'll quickly see that they both contain fruit, they both contain the same kind of fruit. Now we can't say the third one, can we? We cannot say they both contain the same number of fruit, because you can see that they don't. And then you can ask the question, how are the two groups different? And they'll very quickly see that the number of objects in each group is different. So the first group has four, the second group has three. So they're recognizing the difference. The next example, group 1 has 4 bananas, group 2 has 4 cherries. The question could be, how are the two groups the same? They will quickly see they both contain fruit. They both contain the same number of fruit. So there's 4 here and 4 here. How are the two groups different? They both contain different fruit. So the fruit is not the same. Next example. Group 1 has four pineapples and group 2 has three rock melons. How are the two groups the same? They both contain fruit. That's about all you can say. How are the two groups different? The number of objects in each group is different, if you remember, and the type of fruit in each group is different. Next example. Group 1 has four marbles, group 2 has four pencils. How are the two groups the same? They both contain the same number of objects. That's it. Nothing else is the same. How are the two groups different? They contain different objects. And the last example, group one has four dice, group two has three spoons. How are the two groups the same? They have no similarity. There's nothing similar about them. How are the two groups different? They contain different objects and the number of objects in each group is different. They're just six examples that you can present to the students or you can present any other examples whatsoever. As long as you help the students to recognize that when they have two groups before them, they are able to pick the things that are the same in the two groups and the things that are different. 